Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. In today's video, from math subject, quadrilateral topic we are going to continue. So, construction of uh, parallelogram children. So, having given adjacent sides and included angle. So, here we have to construct a parallelogram ABCD in which side AB is given, this is the rough figure, AB is given 4 cm, BC is given 3 cm and angle A is given 60 degrees. Included angle at common end point is given 60 degrees. So, we have to construct the parallelogram ABCD. So, if we join this uh, BC and the CD, we will get a parallelogram. This is the rough figure. We know that in parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. So, this uh, CD value also will be equal to AB, which is 4 cm. BC value will be equal to AD, which will be 3 cm, which will be 3 cm. So, now, for uh, constructing this, so let us uh, draw AB 4 cm. Let us draw AB 4 cm. Let us draw AB 4 cm. AB line 4 cm. So, next from point A with a radius less than half of AB with some radius, draw an arc. Draw an arc cutting this line AB with some radius. Draw an arc cutting this line AB. Next, from this line, from this point, this arc, it is cutting AB at this point. From this point, with same radius, cut this arc again. Cut this arc again. So, make a point there. Through that point, extend the line. The line will be AX. Means if you draw in this manner, the angle so formed here, it will be 60 degrees. The angle so formed will be 60 degrees. 60 degrees. So from line AB, from line AB with some with some radius, you have to draw an arc, draw an arc with same radius, with same radius from this point, if you cut this arc this angle will be 60. From here, if you cut the arc, that angle will be 120. From here, if you draw one arc above, from here, if you cut this arc, this angle will be 90 degrees. This angle will be 90 degrees. This angle will be 90 degrees. So, 60, 90, 120. Like that, we can draw angles. So, we have to construct AX ray such that angle A is 60 degrees. So, now with 3 cm radius, take 3 cm radius from point A, cut this AX line with 3 cm radius. Note that point as D. Now, we have got AD and already we have AB. From BC, because BC is equal to AD with 3 cm radius, from B, draw an arc and CD equal to AB with 4 cm, cut the cut this arc. So, both of them intersect at one point, let it be C, join BC, join DC, you will get the parallelogram. You will get the parallelogram. This is first method children. When they have, when they give, when they have given two adjacent sides and one included angle, so, by this method, we can construct the parallelogram. We can construct the parallelogram. Now, children, case 2. So, having given two adjacent sides and one diagonal, two adjacent sides they have given, one diagonal they have given. So, in example 6, construct a parallelogram PQRS, where PQ 4.5 cm, QR 3.5 cm, PR 5.4 cm. So, where this PQ 
in PQRS, PQRS parallelogram, PQ 4.5 given, QR 3.5 centimeter given, PR diagonal 5.4 centimeter given. So, this is the rough figure. Based on this, we have to draw the fair diagram. So, for uh, drawing the, for doing the construction, let us take this PQ is side, QR is side, these two are adjacent sides and PR is the diagonal. So, let us take one side as base, PQ 4.5 centimeter. Let us take one side as base. Now, we know, uh, now this is uh, PQ, PQ we have drawn. Now, we know QR 3.5 centimeter from point Q with the 3.5 centimeter radius draw an arc and we know PR, we know PR also 5.4 centimeter from P point with 5.4 centimeter cut this arc, let this point be R, so join QR, join PR, join QR, join PR. Now, now this opposite side also equal to 4.5 centimeter this one equal to 3.5 centimeter means from r with 4.5 centimeter from r draw an arc with 3.5 centimeter from p cut this arc let this point be yes now join this points join this points so in this way we will get parallelogram we will get parallelogram when two adjacent sides and one diagonal is given. <coughs> Next one, case 3. Case 3, having given one side and two diagonals, having given one side and two diagonals in uh, ABCD parallelogram, one side AB is given Construct a parallelogram ABCD, AB 5 cm, AC 4.5 cm, 4.8 cm, BD 7 cm. Means in parallelogram ABCD, in rough figure, AB 5 cm given, AC 4.8 cm given, BD 7 cm given. We have to construct ABCD parallelogram. But we have to use the fact that Diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. Bisect each other means this 4.8 will be divided into 2.4 into 2.4. This 7 centimeter will be divided into 3.5 into 3. Point, sorry, 3.5 and 3.5 means we will get a smaller triangle. Smaller triangle. If both the tri both the diagonals intersect at O we will get a smaller triangle with the measurements 5 cm which is given 2.4 half of diagonal 3.5 half of diagonal we will get this triangle so let's construct this triangle first so that we can construct the parallelogram so we have to use the fact that parallelogram diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other and Based on that fact, first we have to construct this triangle, then we can go for parallelogram. So, here children, so draw AB, so draw AB 5 centimeter. So, now this AO 2.4 means with 2.4 centimeter, draw an arc here from point A, draw an arc with 3.5 centimeter from point B with 3.5 cm cut this arc, mark this point as O, join OA, join OB. Now we have got the triangle with 3.4 cm, 2.4 cm, 3.5 cm, 5 cm dimensions. We have got this triangle. We have got this triangle. Now what we have to do means, we have to extend this AO and we have to extend this BO. We have to extend this AO and we have to extend this BO. BO. 
okay and from o point because this is oa is 2.4 means the other side also it should have 2.4 length so with 2.4 cm radius cut this arc and mark that point as c because this length is 3.5 with 3.5 cm cut this extension and mark this point as d now join cd join da join cb now we have got the parallelogram we have got parallelogram abcd parallelogram abcd so very simple children first you have to draw the triangle then you have to extend this side you have to extend this side if this is 2.4 with same 2.4 cm radius cut this line mark this point as c if this is 3.5 with same 3.5 cut this line mark that as d join all the points you will get the required parallelogram next one case 4 height and two sides are given height and two sides are given so height of the parallelogram and the two sides are given two adjacent sides are given so construct a parallelogram abcd so that ab 4.5 cm bc 3.7 cm height 2.5 cm so ab 4.5 bc 3.7 height 2.5 like this we have to construct a parallelogram so first what we have to do means we have to draw one line we have to one minute children we have to draw one line ab we have to draw one line ab we have to draw one line ab so now they have given two sides and height means height means at a distance of 2.5 cm it will be having a parallel line xy it will be having a parallel line xy so first we have to construct this parallel line first we have to construct this parallel line how to construct parallel line how to construct parallel line so let's take two points one point u here one point v here let's take two points uv from the point u with some radius with some radius cut this side with an arc with same radius cut this side with an arc with same radius draw an arc above from this point with same radius cut the arc which was drawn above from this point now we have got a point here so you can draw a line passing through the point it will be the perpendicular line it will be the perpendicular line means in parallelogram height 2.5 cm means because these two lines are parallel at any point at any point height will be 2.5 cm so first we have to draw a perpendicular line from anywhere one point between ab next from v point with some radius draw an arc left side draw an arc right side next from here from here with same radius draw an arc above next from here with same radius cut the arc above we will get one more point from v point join that point and extend the line this is another perpendicular line so like that from two different points we have to draw two different perpendicular lines now height is 2.5 cm so what we can do means from this u point with 2.5 cm cut this line suppose this is ux line this is vy line cut this ux line 
with a radius of 2.5 cm. Y means the height is 2.5 cm. Mark a point there. Cut this BY line with a radius of 2.5 cm because height is 2.5 cm. Now join these two points and draw one line. Draw one line. Draw one line. So here this line is taken as x y x y. You can take uh, this view. This line you can take another line. Suppose uh, UP, uh, VQ, like that. You can keep some other names. So from these two points, join this line. So this we will get a line XY, which is parallel to AB, which is parallel to AB. So now from A point, because this distance is 3.7 centimeter, AD. AD should be 3.7 cm. From A point with 3.7 cm, cut a line, join this line. And from B point, because opposite sides are equal, with 3.7 cm, cut this line with an arc, mark it as C point, join this line, you will get ABCD parallelogram. So this XY is only construction children. So we will get ABCD parallelogram. So in this way, when they have given <coughs> one height and two sides with the help of parallel line, with the help of perpendicular lines and with the help of parallel line, we can draw the parallelogram. We can construct the parallelogram. <coughs> next run. So next run, rhombus. Rhombus. So, the sides of a rhombus are equal. The sides of a rhombus are equal. So, the construction of rhombus is similar to that of parallelogram. But in parallelogram, adjacent sides will be different. But in rhombus, all are equal. If they give one side, it is enough. Remaining all sides are equal. So, here children. Case 1, having given one side and an angle, one side and angle. So construct a rhombus of side 6 cm, angle A 60 degrees, angle A 60 degrees. So one side 6 cm given means all sides are equal to 6 cm. As per this rough diagram, all sides are equal to 6 cm one angle at A equal to 60, 60 degrees. So first we have to draw one side children which is AB 6 cm. Now we have to construct angle A 60 degrees. What we have to do with some radius from point A draw an arc around A cutting the AB line cutting the AB line draw an arc and the point where it is cutting the AB line from that point with same radius, cut the arc which was drawn earlier, make a point there, join that point from A and extend the line, that will be 60 degrees angle, that will be 60 degrees angle, okay, that will be 60 degrees angle, let it be AX. 60 degrees angle. Now, because all sides are equal from point A with 6 cm radius, cut this line. Cut this line and note it as D point. And from D point in this direction, in right side direction, draw an arc with same radius, 6 cm radius. From B point, cut the above arc with 6 cm radius. Note that point as C, join BC, sorry, join DC, join BC. We will get required rhombus. We will get required rhombus. So, same, same steps of construction children, but here all sides are equal. <coughs> Next children, case 2, having given one side and diagonal one side and diagonal. So, one side given means 
all sides are equal to same side. They have given PQ equal to 5.8 centimeter. So PQ 5.8 means remaining all sides also equal to 5.8. And they have given diagonal 7 centimeter. Diagonal 7 centimeter. So what we will do children? First we will draw one side 5.8 centimeter. Next with 5.8 centimeter we will draw an arc in the above portion from Q. From P with 7 centimeter radius we will cut that previous arc. We will note the point as R, join QR, join PR. Next from R with 5.8 centimeter draw an arc. From P 5.8 centimeter draw another arc. Join BS, sorry RS, join PS. You will get the rhombus. You will get the rhombus. Similar steps of construction children. Same like parallelogram only. But uh, while writing the steps you have to write with the complete information children. Step 1. Draw PQ equal to 5.8 centimeter. Step 2. With P as center. With P as center. Radius 7 centimeter. And Q as center. Radius 5.8 centimeter. Draw arcs. Draw arcs. Cutting each other at R. Like that complete steps you have to write. Next with P as centimeter. Sorry. With P as center. With 5.8 centimeter radius. With R as center. With 5.8 centimeter radius. Draw arcs. So that they cut each other at S. Next, join, join PS, RS, or uh, QR, PR. You will get required rhombus. <coughs> Next one. So having two diagonals, having two diagonals. So construct a rhombus in which AC equal to 7 centimeter, BD equal to 5 centimeter. So they have given AC 7 cm, BD 5 cm. Only two diagonals given. How to uh, draw that? How to draw rhombus? We know that diagonals of rhombus bisect each other at right angles. Means if it is 5 cm, because they will bisect each other, this will be 2.5, this will be 2.5. If this is 7, this part will be 3.5 and this part will be 3.5 and right angle here right angle right angle will come so what we have to do children so draw ac 7 cm draw ac line 7 cm draw its right bisector xy cutting ac at o means for uh, For this AC, we have to uh, we have to draw perpendicular bisector, perpendicular bisector, perpendicular bisector XY, XY, so that it cuts AC at O, AC at O, which we have learnt already. How to draw perpendicular bisector? We have learnt already in parallelogram. Same concept you can apply here. This xy is the perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector. So it intersects AC at O. <coughs> AC at O. So now, now with the O as radius, with O as radius, cut this line with the 2.5 centimeter below the xy line and above the xy line. Mark the points as D and B. D and B. Join this ABCD. Join this ABCD. All you will get required rhombus. <coughs> so you will get required rhombus. Next one. We have trapezium. 
we have trapezium. So, regarding trapezium construction, it is somewhat different theorem. Let us uh, learn in our <coughs> next video. <coughs> so, thank you for watching our video children. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. So, please visit our website children www.aimstudio.in for information regarding online classes, quizzes, worksheets, activities, English classes, coding classes, art and craft skills and other information. Thank you children. Have a good day.